Hello. So <clears throat> in the last video, we were processing a small amount of, of entries, but let's, let's imagine that we have a lot more entries. Um, so if we take our currency lookup and I don't want to be spamming Google with, with its brain dead requests. I don't know if they're checking or blocking people or whatever. I, I don't want to risk it. So I, I changed it so that basically I'm just waiting one second every time we do a currency lookup. But, but the main point is that we are doing something waiting. Um, so if I, if I submit all those items now to a queue, it will now start processing those items, right? So I have one robot, I have one queue. And if I go to work items, we can now see that I have a bunch of, of work items and slowly it will be going through these. Um, so if we take uh, processing, you can see that it's slowly moving through the different currencies and processing those one robot. And at some point it's going to be complete and doing all of this. So that is just painful, right? So how can we easily distribute this workload across multiple robots? Well, we can create a role and mark it as an RPA role. And once we start adding robots or robot users to that role, they will now be able to receive work by that role or on that role. So if we go to the work item queue and we edit it, we can actually go down here and select a role instead of choosing a user. So I created a role called HD robots. Um, and I given HD robot access to the project. So now I can actually tell OpenFlow that when new items get added, please notify one or more of the robots inside this role and tell them to run this workflow. So if I update this and go back, uh, let's clear the queue. There we go. So now we don't have any items, right? It's blank, it's empty, there's nothing there. Um, so I have a small server here. Um, it has Five, uh, four users created. Um, those three here are running with the high density service, which means that uh, this service here is responsible for logging on, starting a robot and make sure it's alive. And we can now run workflows on those. And this is my admin account. It's also a member of the HD robot service. So I now have four users or four robots that can process things. And they have access to the fourth project, as you can see. Um, so basically, on my robot, I can now add the items again. But now when I do that, it's not my robot that starts processing these. It's the robots on the server. And if we go over here and we look at processing, we can actually see that there will be a... Actually, oh, there we go. <laughs> It will swap between how many robots are constantly working on these items. And then once the list is done, you can see that it just processed all of these. Um, so uh, I guess it's realistically to say that it took around 18, 19 seconds processing all of these items, where before it took a lot longer. Um, I don't know if that made sense. I hope that makes sense. So the point is we are now distributing the load across multiple robots. And that means we can now do four things at the same time. And if that's not enough, we can just add more robots and each of those robots will then eat be picking off items of the work item queue. And thereby we can now increase the throughput of work items we can handle by just adding more robots. Um, this also makes it very, very easy and convenient so that if some of these are failing, we can now easily go in and say, oh, by the way, could you please reprocess these items? Um, and that will, yeah, be a lot faster and more efficient, right? Uh, 
that video was not as long as I expected. But uh, yeah, there we go. This is how we can do that.